My name is Andrew Burton. I'm a sculptor. I live in England, in Newcastle, which is in the north of England, where I teach sculpture at the university. And I'm a sculptor. I've been working, making public artworks for at least the last 20 years, something like that. The piece is called Buttress, which is what it is. It's a buttress, to buttressing up buildings. Well, I've been making pieces out of bricks for about the last three or four years, sometimes full-size bricks and sometimes miniature bricks. I was thinking about making a piece for this, for, for Kafka, and I, quite a lot of the inspiration I get is from real architecture, often looking around the landscape. And I'd seen an old barn in rural Northumbria, a very different kind of environment from here, that was propped up by two huge stone buttresses. And I thought that would be an interesting idea to explore in, a, in an urban environment. So I made some designs for some buttresses that we, would be made out of brick. First of all, they were going to go in kind of a rundown area of town here, but then we figured that actually on this brick wall in the museum would be a good place for them. What I'm interested in is how surfaces that have been really in the environment can be kind of taken apart and reused. So quite often I'll take secondhand bricks um, or bricks that have been used for old buildings that have been painted that are showing the kind of traces of the buildings that they've been used for before. So one of the thoughts here was that maybe you would you would see, you know, how you see graffiti all over the place and that maybe they, those walls could be taken down and turned into something new. So in fact what we did was to get some local graffiti artists to come and paint up these bricks and then instead of trying to reassemble the graffiti that they make, everything kind of gets jumbled up and turned into something different. So it's partly random but as we're making the sculpture you begin to see designs coming through or kind of areas where the colour is more intense so there's a kind of randomness and a kind of artistry that's at play there. The original place I got interested in brick was in India where they do they have a lot of very small kind of micro brick yards where the process is by hand and it's very rudimentary and I was working with some Indian brick masons there on these very basic bricks they're very low fired and we made some big sculptures using those but you see those bricks around the landscape in very simple kind of forms just stacked up. They look like old archaeological remains, like Mayan remains or something like that. So I'm really interested in that, you know, the way that you can just put up a pile of bricks and that's almost a sculpture in its own right. Um, and then I was in Holland and I was making these little tiny bricks, tiny miniature kind of Lego-sized Lego bricks and did a lot of sculptures out of those. So I'm interested in those juxtapositions of scale and how scale works in sculpture. So obviously this is a piece where the kind of scale is, is real scale, like, you know, the same scale as the building. And the response has been much more positive than I would have guessed it would be because quite often um, you get, you know, you get mixed remarks, but pretty well everybody who's been by here, and that's a lot of people, have been very positive about it. What they seem to respond to is the colour. It's kind of surprising because you'd think that that graffiti thing would get to people, you know, they wouldn't want to see that, but actually People don't seem to spot that. What they see is something colourful and they say, well, it's really nice to see uh, something colourful going up. So, um, you know, actually that's a bit worrying because sometimes you want it to be a bit more controversial than that. The fact that everybody likes it, you've got to think you're doing something wrong. But uh, that's the way it's been, apart from one guy who didn't like it. But uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it, that's been really interesting. I mean, I don't know whether the response to public sculpture is better here in Canada or maybe People are just politer, who knows?